I have covered Marigold model on the channel in the past and since then there have been a lot of requests from the people to show how to get it installed locally and then how can we do the depth estimation with the help of this model. In my opinion Marigold is one of the best depth model at the moment out there. In this video we will be installing it locally and then we will also see how we can do the depth estimation with the help of this amazing model. Marigold is a new diffusion based dense prediction approach and it also provides a set of pipelines for various computer vision tasks such as monocular depth estimation and that is what we are going to do in this video. When it comes to depth prediction what it means is that it refers to the ability of these models to estimate the three-dimensional or 3D depth information of a scene from a 2D image. Let me show you a few examples. So you see, uh, for example, look at this second image for, for the second row. In this building, the top one is the depth estimation, the monocular one of the bottom image. This task is also known as monocular depth estimation as it involves estimating depth from a single RGB image as you can see in this diagram. Depth prediction is a fundamental problem in computer vision as it enables AI models to understand the 3D structure of a scene which is really essential for various applications such as autonomous driving, robotics, augmented reality, scene understanding and there are a lot of techniques which can be used here so i'm not going to go into those details but you get the idea why marigold model is so popular and why people are looking to get it implemented because the use cases are immense in the real world for the purpose of this i am using this ubuntu 22.04 um, system you can use any other system should be good and i have one gpu card of 48 gpu of vram which is nvidia rtx 6000 courtesy to mast compute who have uh, sponsored the gpu and the vm for this video so huge shout out to them thanks a lot if you're also looking to rent a gpu on very affordable prices always available no lock-in contract very very flexible terms i would highly suggest mast compute i will drop their link also i will put in a coupon which will give you 50 percent discount on the gpu renting if you are interested so again huge shout out to them that they have uh, very generously given us this gpu and vm to run this video okay so let's go back to our model and now let me take you to my terminal from there we will see how it works so this is my terminal as i mentioned this is my ubuntu 22.04 terminal and I have one GPU card which is NVIDIA RTX A6000 courtesy Mast Compute with 48 GPU of VRAM. Let's clear the screen. Another thing I would highly suggest is that you have Conda installed. Okay, so Conda, I would need to source a Conda. Let me quickly source a Conda. So Conda is a tool which enables you to, okay, I would need to just source it from the bash. So Conda is a tool which enables you to create virtual environment which keeps everything simple and separate so i'm just sourcing it from my bash and now it should work so if i do conda info this is my conda installation 24.1.2 if you don't have uh, conda and you don't know how to install it please search my channel and you should be able to find a video which describes it in very very simple words so let's create this conda environment called as marigold with python 3.11 and that should be done any minute let's press y here and that is going to create the virtual environment for us now let's activate it and step into this marigold and you can see it in the parentheses let's clear the screen next step we need to install a few of the libraries so first one i would say we install torch seems that it's already there which is good Let's wait for it to finish, should not take too long. Okay, torch is installed and now let's install accelerate. That should be quicker. That is done and now let's install the diffusers from the source. If you don't know what diffusers is, diffuser 
is a Python library for diffusion based image and video generation and it provides a simple unified interface for various diffusion models so that you can easily generate and manipulate images and videos using the diffusion models okay so let's wait for it to finish that is done and now i think that is pretty much what we needed to do let me clear the screen and then we are going to run our python interpreter now let's use the model let's import the libraries which we have just installed so both the libraries are imported now and this is where we download the model and as you see so what we are doing here we are just creating a pipeline of marigold plus if you look here what is happening is that in the brackets we have this prs eth and marigold depth 1 cm v10 so this is the first marigold depth checkpoint which predicts a fine invariant depth maps and that is what we are going to do on image now just to explain what exactly this affine invariant depth maps is this is a type of depth map representation used in depth estimation model for computer vision and machine learning so what happens uh, in traditional depth maps the depth value of each pixel represents the euclidean distance from the camera to the corresponding point in the scene but this affine invariant depth map addresses this limitation of traditional depth map in more robust and invariant way so instead of using euclidean distance a fine invariant depth maps use a transformation invariant representation of depths which is less sensitive to camera pose and scene structure so and they are represented in 2d array and you see that i am using cuda because i have one gpu card so i will be offloading to the cuda so let me run it and you see that it is downloading the model now so let's wait for it to finish shouldn't take too long that is done let me clear the screen now let's load our image which we are going to test with it before i show uh, run this let me show you the image which we are going to use so the image which we are going to use is this one this is again from the same github repo um uh, and this has been generated by the diffusion uh, from the marigold repo and this is what i'm going to use for this purpose too so let's go back and run this that is done and now let's get the depth of the image by piping the image and that is also done it was fairly quick and now let's try to visualize the depth with the depth prediction and store it in this vis and now let's try to save it locally and that is done and you can also try to export it uh, 16 bit png with the help of this command same from the same pipeline and that is done and then you can save it and now it has saved the both image now let's go to our directory and see both of these new images so i'm on the same system but with the gui and as you see these are the two images which it has created so if you remember uh, we were we are just talking about the, this original image of einstein first let's have a look at the einstein depth let me open it this is the einstein depth and then this is the one with the 16 bit one the black and white how good is that and you see if you let me try to move this just compare it with this one even the whole hair stuff is depicted here all the nose all the features and the structure this is what it is called the depth estimation and quality you can already appreciate it is amazing amazingly awesome everything with mustache and even some of the wrinkles are there amazing stuff so as i said earlier this marigold model this is amazing model i really i mean have always liked this model now you know how to run it and i will drop the link to their model card in the video description where the code is present and there are a few other pipelines which you can explore at your own that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it let me know what do you think if you like the content please consider subscribing to the channel if you are already subscribed please do me a favor and share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching